Hi, this is Marty from Blue Lightning TV. I'm going to show you how to recreate the look of a vintage surveillance security video camera image from a photo. For your convenience, I provided this photo, a black and white shape of a vintage CRT TV screen, and a font called Alterboro Pixel. Their links are in my video's description or project files. Before we begin, remember to smash that subscribe button to let you know as soon as I upload new Photoshop tutorials. With your Move tool active, drag the photo onto the tab of the TV screen shape. Without releasing your mouse or pen, press and hold the Shift key as you drag it down and then release. Pressing Shift kept the photo centered. To resize the photo, open your Transform tool by pressing Ctrl or Command T. Go to a corner. If you're using CC 2019 or later, press and hold Alt or Option as you drag it in or out. If you're using an earlier version, press and hold Alt or Option plus Shift as you drag it. Then press Enter or Return. I'll cancel the transform since I already sized it earlier. We'll convert the photo into a smart object so we can modify it non-destructively as well as allow us to replace the photo without having to redo the effects. To do this, click the icon at the upper right and click Convert to Smart Object. Click the lock icon to unlock the layer and drag it above the photo. Reduce its opacity so we can see the photo under it. Make the photo active and go to Filter and Lens Correction. Make sure the Geometric Distortion and Auto Scale image are checked and open the Custom tab. In the Remove Distortion field, type in minus 70. If it's too distorted or not distorted enough, we can always change it later if we want. Reduce its scale to 70%. Make the Vignette amount minus 100 and the Midpoint 20. Then click OK. If you see any white areas surrounding the photo, open back your Transform tool. If you see this message, it's just letting us know that the Smart Filters will be temporarily turned off until after we use the Transform tool. Increase its size a little bit, then click the check mark or press Enter or Return. Make the TV shape active and increase its opacity back to 100%. Open your Channels panel. If you don't see it, go to Window and Channels. Control or Command click any of the channel thumbnails to make a selection of its shape. Open back the Layers panel and make the photo active. Click the Layer Mask icon to make a layer mask of the selection next to the photo. Now that we have the TV shape as a layer mask, we can delete the top shape. Make a new layer below the active layer by Control or Command clicking the New Layer icon. We'll fill the empty layer with black, but before we do, check your foreground and background colors. If they aren't black and white respectively, press D on your keyboard. Since black is our foreground color, press Alt or Option plus Delete. Make the photo active and go to Filter, Texture, and Grain. The grain type is clumped and the intensity and the contrast are both 50. Double click an empty area of the layer to open the layer style window. Click Inner Glow. The blend mode is Overlay and the opacity is 100%. If the box isn't black, click it and pick black. The technique is softer, the source is edge, the choke is 0%, and the size is 20 pixels. The contour is linear and the range is 50%. To save some space in the Layers panel, let's collapse the effects. Click the New Layer icon to make a new layer. We'll fill it with 50% gray by pressing Shift plus the F5 key at the top of your keyboard or you can go to Edit and Fill. Click 50% gray. Go to Filter, Sketch, and Halftone Pattern. The pattern type is Line, the size is 1, 
and the contrast is 50. Open your Channels panel and make a selection of the lines. Invert the selection by pressing Ctrl or Command Shift I. Open back the Layers panel and press the Delete key to delete the black lines, then deselect it. Convert the white lines into a smart object and change its blend mode to soft light. Go to Filter, Blur, and Gaussian Blur. Blur it one pixel. Let's name it Scan Lines. Collapse the effects and click the Adjustment Layer icon. Click Solid Color. In the hexadecimal field, type in E, E, F, 3, E, 7 to give us almost a white color with a slight bit of green. Change its Blend Mode to Color. In the next few steps, we'll be adding our text. First, go to View. If you're using version CC or later, click New Guide Layout. If you're using an earlier version, just bypass this step. If anything is filled in the columns and rows, clear them out. Check Margin and make the top and bottom margins 3 inches and the left and right margins 4 inches. We'll use these guides to place our text at their corners. Open your Horizontal Type tool and invert the colors by pressing X on your keyboard so white is our foreground color. After you install the font I provided, open the Type Picker and open the font. Make its size 80 points. If you're using CC or later, open back View. And if Snap isn't checked, click it to make it active. This will snap our text to the guidelines. Click on your document and type out your text. I typed REC for record. To move it, open your Move tool and make sure Auto Select is not checked. This will prevent layers that you don't want moved from being moved. Drag to the top left corner. Then drag it to the right to make some room for the red record light that we'll be placing to the left of the text. Make a copy of the text by pressing Ctrl or Command J and drag it across. Double click the large T of the copy to highlight the text and type in your new text. Open back your Move tool and drag it so it snaps to the corner. Make a copy of it and drag it down to the bottom guideline. As before, double click the large T to highlight the text and type out your new text. Open back your Move tool and snap it to the corner. Repeat these steps for the bottom left text. We'll convert all the text into one smart object by shift clicking the bottom text layer to make all the text layers active and clicking Convert to Smart Object. Go to Filter, Blur, and Gaussian Blur. Blur it one pixel. Double click an empty area of the layer to open its layer style window. Click Outer Glow. The Blend Mode is Soft Light, the Opacity is 40%, and the Color is White. The Technique is Softer, the Spread is 0%, and the Size is 5 pixels. Next, we'll add the Recording Red Light. Make a new layer. I'll name it REC Light. Click your foreground color and pick a bright red. Open your Ellipse tool and pick Pixels. Click the gear icon and tick Proportional and check from center. Drag out a circle approximately this size. Go to Filter, Blur, and Gaussian Blur. Blur it 1.5 pixels. To hide the guidelines, press Ctrl or Command H. If you want to adjust the distortion of your camera image, double click the Lens Correction effect. If you see this message, it's just letting us know that the smart filters will be temporarily turned off until we commit the new distortion. 
open the custom tab and either drag the distortion slider or type in a new amount. This is Marty from Blue Lightning TV. Thanks for watching.